there's six properties of algebra. They are distributive, commutative, associative, identity, inverse, and zero. The first one is distributive property. From the word distribute, it gives out or shares out. It is applicable for multiplication and division only. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of this property. There. When doing the distributive property, we distribute or share out. So, we do 2 times 11, which is 22. 22. Then, we copy the operation. Then, after that, 2 times 12, which is 24. Or, it goes like this. There, like, like this. 2 times 11 plus 2 times 12. For our next example, we will try to simplify these expressions by distributive property. There. Let's solve the one on this side first. So, 2 times x, 2x, copy the, oper the operator, then 2 times 4, which is 8. Then, copy the one on this side. There. Now that we are done in this side, we will try to solve the one in here. Four times x, four x plus four times eight, which is thirty-two. There, as you, as you notice, we have removed the parentheses. There, we have to remove the parentheses, and we will try to combine the like terms and the constants. So, so two x. 2x plus 4x. Then, 32 minus 8. There, we have successfully simplified this expression. Now, let's proceed to the solving. So, so 2x plus 4x, 6x. So, 6x equals 32 minus 8 which is 4, then divided, divided to 6, because it's 6, then 24 divided by 6 is 4, then also x is 4. Another property is commutative, from the word commute, which means to move around or change location. This is applicable for addition and multiplication only. I will show you how this property works in this example. So, there, 3a plus 2a equals 5a. If you reverse it like 2a plus 3a, it's still 5a. See, the same. Um, the place may change, but the answer or the sum will never, it will not change. And for our next example, 7a plus 3a equals 10a. But, and if you make it 3a plus 7a equals 10a, see, no difference. Even if you switch the places, the answer will never change, or the sum. The next property is associative property. It means changing of group but with no moving involved. This is applicable for multiplication and addition only. 
Now I will show you how this property works through this example. There, observe. Groupings are represented by parentheses like this and this. Let's solve the one on this side first. So 5 times 4, which is 20, times 25, then equal, so 4 times 25, which is 100, so 5 times there. Let's solve the, now let's solve. So 20 times 25 is equals to 500. 5 times 100, 100, there. Even if you change the groupings of these numbers, the it will never change. The 500 will remain there. Example number 2. And again, parentheses represents groups. So, 3 plus 5, 2 plus 2 equals, so, negative 3 plus 7. So, 2 plus 2, 4, negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Even if you change the groupings, the answer will remain the same. Next is identity property. Identity property is where the number keeps its identity after the operation is done. This is only applicable in addition and multiplication. These are examples of identity property. This one is addition, this one is multiplication. For the addition, the sum of zero and any number is the number. For example, a plus zero equals a, four plus zero equals four. And for the multiplication, the product of one and any number is the number, like a times one equals a. 3 times 1 equals 3. In identity property, it will come back to your identity. The next property is the inverse property. Inverse property is the opposite operation or number that will result in 1 or 0. Example, in algebra. It involves multi-step solving in equation. Now, let's do some examples. So, Now, 
now we will combine the one with the variable or x and the one that doesn't have so there next thing we do is we solve 3 fourths my minus 1 fourth is Fifteen minus ten, five. There, as you can see, the two fourths, it can still be divided into half. So, it will be one half equals five. Now we will multiply the five to two. So two times five is ten. Our x is ten. For our second example, so the first step is we combine the one with variables and the one that doesn't have. So let's do it. Let's do it. There, we have successfully mixed the one with the variable and the one that doesn't have. Now let's solve it. So, negative 8x minus 16x is 8 x equals negative 47. So, now we need to get the x because we don't need the 24 so negative 24 uh, negative 24 so x is equal to negative 24 there so we need to divide negative 47 and negative 24 which is 1 and 2, 23, wait, 23, 24. There, our x is 1 and 23 over 24. And for our last example, So, the one with the variable and the one that doesn't have first. So, now we have separate, now we have mixed the one with the variables and the one that doesn't have. Now we add, now we subtract. So, 9x minus 24x is 15x equals so, negative 27. Now, we only need the x, we don't need the 15. So, 15x divided by 15, it will become negative 15. It will become only x x then we divide the negative 27 and negative 15 which is which is 1 and 12 15 so our x is 1 and 12 15 Sometimes, in algebra, substitution is done to substitute variables to numbers. Now, I'm going to create an example of substitution. So, let's say 8 
Pegar. Plus. Now I'm going to make a two four. Now substitute four to a and b to five. There. When we substitute, it means we have to multiply the number to the substituted number. So a times four. Then plus then twelve times five. Now we can solve it. So eight times four thirty two plus sixty. So thirty two plus sixty is ninety two. Our answer is ninety two.